Hi, I'm Karen, and today I'm doing four hikes at the top of Carr Canyon. Two of these hikes, the old Sawmill Spring and Ramsey Vista Connector Trails, are just short trails that connect to Carr Peak Trail from the respective campgrounds. The third hike, the Reef Town Site Loop Trail, has great views and plenty of informational signs along the way about the history of mining in the area. Then, the Hang Glider Trail has fabulous views south into Miller Canyon and Mexico. And finally, there's a fifth hike down at the bottom of the canyon. The Ramsey Vista Connector Trail isn't much of a shortcut to Car Peak Trail, but it has nice views. There are actually lots of social trails that head either from this campground up to Car Peak Trail or around the Ramsey Vista Campground. If you camp up here, remember that at 7,200 feet, it's 10 to 15 degrees cooler than the temperature in Sierra Vista. back where I started. Old Sawmill Spring Trail connects the Reef Town Site campground to Car Peak Trail. It's almost a mile long trail one way, and I didn't, but, but you probably could wander around up there and find Old Sawmill Spring as well. And this is where the old Sawmill Spring Trail meets the Car Peak Trail. And now I'll head on back to the Reef Town Site Campground. For this third hike, I headed farther back into the Reef Town Site campground near the Big Picnic Ramada on the northeastern edge of the campground. It's a nice shady trail with beautiful views, and there are a lot of interpretive signs that highlight the mining history of the area. It's really interesting. Glider Trail is really just an old road rather than a trail. The start is about a half mile down the road from Reef Town Site. It's not very interesting along the way, so you might wonder, like I did, what could be so great about it? <sighs> I don't know, maybe it's just a view of these rocks. And what's great about it is that at the top are some of the nicest views of Miller Canyon and Miller Peak and south into Mexico that I've seen. Also, it's a lot shorter hike than any other in order to get these great views. to get back before it gets dark because I don't want to drive down Car Canyon Road in the dark. I definitely cannot imagine jumping off that thing in a hang glider. So there you have it. Four hikes at the top of Car Canyon. But if you wait a minute, 
there'll be one more hike. I'm gonna head down to the car house and hike the nature trail. The nature trail at the car house is at the bottom of the canyon. Car Canyon has a really interesting history, and I'll put some links in the description section below if you want to read up on it. The house closest to Car Canyon Road has been preserved, and the house about a quarter mile or so down the trail has been allowed to start its return to nature. The trail also continues down to the Perimeter Trail parking lot if you're looking for a longer hike. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should I want to get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know There are several other trails in Car Canyon including, of course, the Perimeter Trail that I just mentioned, and the Clark Spring and John Cooper Trails at about the halfway point of the road. I'll leave links to information about those hikes below, and I'll see you on the next hike.